Many people have asked me what it's like to live in Thailand, so I'm going to tell you from the comfort of my home here on Kauai. Um, so if you're living in the USA, you're probably used to having strong internet access. That's not always the case in Thailand, but there are different towns that you can live in that you can do quite well getting internet access because a lot of people are working on their own doing gigs I've been doing my own business for 29 years and you can live worldwide and do your business as well so um, that's something that you got to check out as a uh, cautionary uh, thing because people will tell you the internet works great and then it doesn't so check it out with your computer before you commit to spending a lot of money in a place that you're going to rent. Another um, somewhat scam is that people um, act like you should pay them for six months of rent. You don't have to. You can pay every month just like we do everywhere else. Um, you don't have to pay six months ahead of time. You just say no. I'll pay by the month. Um, so there's that. Oops. <laughs> Back to the video. Um, I think I'll just hold it and we are back so back to living in Thailand um, I am helping a friend of mine get ready to move to Thailand and I'm very excited about that because um, hey uh, I do have uh, an issue on Thailand in the very first issue of Vagabond magazine in the iTunes store so that's definitely something you should get it's in the the I for more information above in the right hand corner of the video okay so um, another thing you should be prepared for if you're not gonna just get a visa on arrival which is only 30 days people uh, right away and get the multiple entry visa you can get up to six months it's uh, Mary somebody in Oregon Mary Wheeler in Oregon so get in touch with her you send in your passport by FedEx and the appropriate amounts of money so that when you get there, you don't have to deal with that because you're going to pay big time if you want to stay longer than a month. And it's going to be highly inconvenient because you might have to leave and go to the border and come back, which I've done about eight or nine times. Okay, so that's how to stay in the country. And then uh, there are different modes of living depending on where you are. The islands are a little bit more... Um, western feeling than Chiang Mai and Isan. Isan is my favorite area of the country. It's the farming center, agricultural center, and temple center of the whole country of Thailand. Highly recommend it, Isan. Um, very cheap up there too. You can get a place to stay for two to three hundred a month. Um, either a room at the Sugar Guest House or you can stay I haven't seen the apartments but there is an apartment building there one building in Loi L-O-E-I and um, there's a coffee shop downtown that you can get internet but it's not always open so make sure that that apartment has internet um, so you can work Chiang Mai is very western uh, in some ways uh, but you still need to know some Thai language um, you can get a house if you have a six month lease for three hundred dollars US dollars a month um, get a real real estate agent that's how they do it it's an agent and then she takes you usually a woman takes you around to different houses and you look at them and then you have to do a six month lease to get the real deals but if you don't want to make a commitment then I would just stay downtown in the center and get a room for fifteen dollars a night and do it by the week because you want to make sure it's uh, quiet enough. Here's the thing. Um, there's two things to be aware of. The bad driving and the crazy driving and the no rules and um, in, in the noise. <laughs> so bring your earplugs because you can't always find those silicone types in Thailand. And they really block out the noise. I wore mine out. You had to come back to the U.S. and get more. So um, be sure you have earplugs. And if you're a light sleeper, it's going to be even more important that you find a place 
that you can sleep. It's affordable. Uh, one of the best places I stayed was a little room that I paid $6 a night for in the center. It was a tiny little room, but the internet was perfect. The walls were like paper, so if your neighbor was on Skype talking to their friends in Europe, you heard every word. Um, but I liked that place. It had everything I needed, and um, I could walk everywhere. So, getting to the traffic, um, it's pretty bad. If you get hit and you're on a motorbike, um, as I did, and the people didn't stop to see how I was doing, that's not a felony there. So consider that, um, that there are no rules on the road. Uh, what else? It's super cheap. If you don't want to cook in Chiang Mai, you can spend less than $10 a day for three meals a day for the best Thai food you're ever going to eat in your life and that's why I never eat Thai food here because why should I pay 10 to 15 dollars a dish for what I would pay a dollar 50 for in Thailand so um I lived uh in the university section of Chiang Mai Chiang Mai University and that was cool because there were so many low-priced options there was a really good coffee house that I could do internet from but I don't always want to go out if I gotta do writing I don't want to hear somebody's bad music on loud so you got to consider that I mean if you can write that way great but I can't um, so that gets old and um, let's see what else can I tell you you know the cost of living is really great it's probably the cheapest place I've ever lived um, and to get around you don't really need a car the buses are incredible to go to different cities so you can get around if you want to ride a motorbike as I did before my accident for many months you can rent one for about a hundred dollars a month and it's a nice one so you just have to be super careful and wear your helmet it is the country that has the most head injuries for riding on a motorbike because there's lots of crashes so um, keep that in mind any questions you have let me know um, because a lot of people want to uh, go to Thailand. They've heard the low cost of living. All in all, um, I don't even know how many times I've been there, but I think the longest stretch of time I was there was six to eight months. So everybody has a different experience. So if you haven't traveled and um, you have not been to Thailand, um, I would recommend not commenting as many people do <laughs> that have never been there and have some advice for me um, but consider the source when you're collecting information about Thailand ask people that have actually lived there because we know what we're talking about we've lived there so don't listen to your friends tell you that you shouldn't go because uh, there's uh, too many feral cats or you can't get clean food actually you know um, Thailand is a very clean country and I don't recall ever getting sick from street food um, people are clean uh, the, the kitchens that most of the kitchens you can tell if they're clean or not a lot of times you can see the whole kitchen so um, check it out ask me questions I'll talk to you later Enjoy Thailand. It is a wonderful country. Get my special issue on Thailand in the iTunes store for your iPad and iPhone.